How to feel more magical when you don't feel magical. Hi, I'm Ayla, and I have some ideas. So this is going to be a little story time, and I'll try to make it quick. Um, lots of times when we feel stagnant, when we don't feel very magical, it's because we are up in the middle of transitioning into the next level of evolution. Now, sometimes what we have to do is we have to let go of certain things in order for the new things to come in, the new reality, the new things that we are creating. Um, and this can be, this can really be a harrowing process sometimes. So I want to tell you a little story to kind of illustrate what letting go is not okay um, letting go is to the opposite of the story that I'm about to tell you so when I was a little girl I was 12 years old uh, I'm 61 now so that was a long time ago um, I my mother had been killed in a car accident and um, when I was 11 so so at 12 years old I'm still not quite over it I'm still working on it and um, I remember sitting with my grandmother so I was raised that part of my life I was raised in a household with my mother and my grandmother who were both uh, somewhat uh, mentally unstable and uh, I remember sitting with my grandmother sometime after my mother had died and um, thinking that um, we were having a conversation and my grandmother said, uh, you know, she had been, now I realized what she said was she had been working her magic, but I don't think those are the words that she used because if there was any magic growing up in my household, I was not aware of it. Um, but, but the, the verbiage that she used was something to the effect of she had been working her magic for this thing that she wanted. She had been working her magic for this thing that she wanted. And then my mother died. Um, and my, and I remember the sentiment, the words that my grandmother used was that she had traded what she wanted because she got what she was working her intention for. She got it. Um, but she felt like she had traded my mother's life for that. And that that was the price that she had paid for getting this thing that she wanted. Let me just assure you, let me just assure you that this is not how it happens. You don't trade one thing for another. When a person is born and when they exit this planetary dimension is decided by that person before they come here. We write out our life plans and um, we put in when we're going to come in, who we're coming into, what all of the details are of that life, and then when we make our exit. We as human beings do not have power. I don't care how powerful you think you are. You do not have power over another person's life plan. You cannot decide when that person is going to exit this dimension. My grandmother tortured herself for years thinking that she had caused this, that she got, she got this thing that she wanted, but at the price of her daughter's life. That's, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Uh, my mother uh, passed away very young. She was 27. And I just imagined that she was done with what she came here to do, what she had written down she wanted to get done in her lifetime. Um, lots of times, very, very old souls, people who have incarnated many times and gone through many, many events, to help themselves evolve will just have like a few more things to do. So they come back and then they go back to the other side very early. 
and I remember talking to my husband. Um, it was like I wanted to work with a particular deity, and I said, but what is the price? And I started crying because I remember I remember having this conversation with my grandmother. And at the time, being a little girl, thinking, that's not how it works. That's not how God's not going to take something away from you just because you created something else in your life. Um, so, but, but then later, years later, just a couple of years ago, having this conversation with my husband and it's like, what am I going to have to give up to work with this energy that I want to work with? And he was like, what are you talking about? And I was, and so I told him the story of my grandmother and my mother passing away. And um, he was like, no, no, that's, that's not how, that's not how it works. Um, you may have to give something up. You may have to give up your ego or balance your ego. I don't think we ever give our ego up, but you may have to balance your ego. Um, you may be having a relationship in your life right now that's just, really kind of working against you creating your magical life, a friendship or something like that. So it's been my observation that when something goes out, it's really, it's really something that we were ready for it to go out anyway. The matters of life and not life, that's up to the individual. We have no control over when a person leaves this realm, you can't, you can't unalive them with your magic. So what I want to say to you is in the process of letting go of things so that you can move on, so that you can move on into your beautiful, amazing, magical life. And then crap starts happening. No, crap's going to happen. When you're working your energy and you're getting into that positivity, that powerful place of coming into alignment with that thing that you want, stuff is going to happen. And I explain it like this. So you're on this big 60-foot wooden sailboat and you're headed for, no, not a 60-foot wooden sailboat, an 80-foot wooden sailboat, and you're heading for Hawaii. You're in the Pacific Ocean, and you are headed for Hawaii. And all of a sudden, you change your mind, and you decide you don't want to go to Hawaii, not just yet. You do want to go to Hawaii, but not just yet. You're going to go to Seattle instead. So what you got to do is you got to turn that boat around. Now, you're not going to stop and back up and go forward in the other direction. You're going to bring that sailboat to a wide sweeping loop. And while you're doing it, the sailboat's kind of leaning to one side and it's making a bunch of cracking and popping. And the water is like right there. And it just seems like at some points you're going to sink. And that's what happens when we start working our positivity, especially if we've been in a negative place for a while things start happening, it's like you you might get fired from a job. That's okay because in your magical life, you were going to another job anyway. Um, you know, things like that. Um, but things like what my grandmother was worried about, that doesn't happen. So don't be afraid when you're working your beautiful, amazing, positive energy to create your magical life. And these little things start happening. The bumper falls off of your car, you know, on your way to work or, you know, I mean, just little stuff like that. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But the other thing is not part of what we do. It's not part of our magic. So if you have any ideas in your head like that, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. I love you. I'll see you next time.